Hello there, Libra. Thank you for stopping by for our weekly tarot video forecast for the week of, uh, let's see, what are we looking at? January the 4th through the 10th. Before we get started, I do have some announcements to make. First off, group mentoring sessions that are available for those people who would like to have some mentoring in the area of expanding your intuitive or psychic abilities or mediumship abilities, any of those. First session that I have available is January 4th at 1 o'clock Mountain Time. That's 3 o'clock Eastern Time or 8 o'clock if you happen to be in the United Kingdom. Wednesday, January 13th, 1215, is another mentoring session that will be 215 Eastern Time or 7.15 p.m. for those in the United Kingdom on Wednesday the 13th. Monday the 18th, 1 o'clock Mountain Time. Eastern Time is 3 o'clock and if you're in the UK, that's going to be 8 o'clock p.m. <clears throat> Excuse me. On the 24th, which is a Sunday, that's 6.30 Mountain Time. For you on Eastern Time, that'll be 8.30. And in the UK, it'll be like 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> so for any of you who are inter interested in group mentoring sessions, go ahead and let me know. We will get you slotted into something. All you have to do is go to my website to find contact information for me and just give me a holler. If none of those times work for you, but you are interested in mentoring, let me know and we'll set up a session for you and just invite other people to come in. Because if there's a time that works for you, it's probably going to be a time that works for other people as well. Okay, so that's the end of our announcements. Libras, Monday, Three of Swords showing up for you in reverse. This is a card of healing. This shows healing from a heartache. So maybe something happened, maybe a friend hurt your feelings or a family member hurt your feelings, said something that hurt your feelings. Maybe you felt betrayed by somebody. When this card comes up, this is talking about healing. So this is maybe a situation where you and that person are able to talk things over and kind of get on the same page. Um, this can also be um, where you do your own psychological or your own spiritual healing just so that you can let something go so that it doesn't stick around in your aura and keep being a nag and a weight on you. All right, so healing for some kind of heartache coming in on Monday, Tuesday, Libra. We have the world card in reverse. What's happening with the world card in reverse? It's like um, the world card really to me talks about all restrictions being lifted. When it comes up right side up, it's talking about the only restrictions we have are in our own mind. What I'm pulling off of this card when it comes in for you on Tuesday, because it is coming in reverse, there's a little different meaning here. And this is talking about that on Tuesday, you are just starting to barely realize that the only restrictions you have are those restrictions that are in your mind. That um, you're just at the beginning of realizing that. So that should definitely be fun. Um, that's going to be the beginning of some wonderful insights for you, but it is going to take more than just Tuesday. All right, so moving on to Wednesday. Libras, what you have is the moon card on Wednesday. The moon card is just saying that there's some kind of situation in your life that is fishy, and you know it's fishy. Um, basically, whenever you look at the situation, you realize that you have just enough information to know that there is way more information to be had there, but you can't quite put your fingers on it, okay? So that's what the moon card says. There's some kind of illusion or some kind of deception or some kind of information that's just not reached um, full consciousness or to the surface to where you can look at it um, in some situation in your life. And this can be, this can manifest really anywhere. This can be um, a situation with a significant other or a, a situation at work. This could even be something in the family. This could be um, somebody planning a surprise birthday party for you and you're getting just enough information to know people are acting kind of strange. Something's up, <laughs> but you don't know exactly what. So the moon card really, just something's fishy and you know something's fishy. And that's your card for Wednesday. Thursday, what you have coming up is you have the five of clubs. Five of clubs tells me that there's a lot of creative energy, a lot of inspiration going on around you. Um, this... When you've got a five, five is kind of a number that talks about entanglements or um, mm, what's the word I'm looking for? 
Not exactly confrontations, but um, where people are all kind of going a little bit different directions. So there's not really unity whenever that five comes up. So it kind of talks about people um, not working together really well. That's about the best way that I can think of how to say this. So when you've got the five of clubs coming up, clubs is talking about inspiration, things that are um, inspiring to you, things that maybe are have a deep level of passion. So these are things that um, whatever is going on, people seem to have a lot of energy, a lot of inspiration, a lot of passion about these things. But it seems like um, not everybody's on the same page. So there's uh, maybe some confrontation, um, definitely at least some aggravation going on in this situation where everybody is feeling so inspired but not necessarily in the same direction. So that's what I see coming on for Thursday. The beautiful thing is if you can get everybody to all work together, this could really turn into something wonderful. So there's a piece of advice there. I don't know how doable that is going to be for you. It kind of depends on the other players involved, but the situation has a lot of potential if somebody could sort of get it steered to where everybody's kind of all going the same direction. Now, on Friday, what you guys have is the Knight of Cups showing up. Excuse me. So Knight of Cups showing up on Friday. This is telling me that you're taking some kind of romantic action on Friday. This could be going out to dinner with a loved one. This could be asking somebody out. This could be uh, popping the big question with the big engagement ring and the flowers. Could be a lot of different things, but... Um, Definitely some kind of romantic action taking place. For those of you who aren't with anybody, <laughs> romance, you know, uh, a lot of times our societies have us in this mindset that romance has to have two people. You can have one person and still be in a very romantic situation. So, you know, even if you're just getting a massage or if you're enjoying some hot springs or if you're um, just sitting outside on your back deck watching the sunset, you can have some really nice romantic experiences without necessarily having another person around. So um, you don't have to, whenever you hear about romantic experiences, they don't have to be limited to something with two people or more than two people around. So just keep that in mind as you're thinking about this on Friday and be kind of on the lookout. What kind of romantic experiences am I having? For me, um, those types of romantic experiences usually end up with me appreciating that great source energy at a deeper level, you know, becoming more aware of what's been created and what's out there and all of that good stuff. So um, still some really nice memories, even if you don't have somebody that you're sharing the romance with per se. Okay, so let's move on to Saturday. This is another good card, very similar to the card that you got on Monday. This is the Nine of Swords in Reverse. Nine of Swords in Reverse is just telling me that you did have a situation that um, was really on your mind a lot, maybe even to the point that you were having a hard time focusing on everyday, on handling everyday situations, maybe even to the point that it was interfering with your sleep. Um, this situation has somehow rectified itself for you, Libra, on Saturday. So either something has happened with the situation to where it's not uh, bothering you as much or you've done some kind of healing to where you're just letting it go and letting the chips fall where they may. The key to these types of situations usually is that we don't have control over them which is what makes it hard for us to um, let them go. We like to have control as humans. We like to think we have control anyway. <laughs> so when we don't it can really bother us. We can kind of get stuck. So this is um, this is really nice that you're coming unstuck on Saturday, whether it's doing some self-healing or whether the situation is kind of rectifying itself. Now, on Sunday, we do have the Empress in Reverse. And the Empress in Reverse can mean one of two things. Uh, for me, the Empress in Reverse, first of all, can be a very codependent card. So it can talk about um, taking control in situations where really other people should be managing um, things. Um, so, and that's kind of what I think of as a codependent person, someone who feels the need to have control even though it's not really their area or their territory because it makes them feel better. Uh, a lot of times people come in and do that whenever they think somebody else can't handle the situation as well. And maybe that other person can't, but um, they're certainly not getting the chance to. Um, now, the other way that this can come in besides codependent action on Sunday, this can also come in 
as and this is still codependent too, but it's like a, it's like the inverse of it. This can come up as giving some of your power away. So having somebody come in and actually make decisions for you that you're better off making. So it's kind of um, kind of the opposite, like letting somebody come in and control and dominate what you're doing or your decisions or your life. So when the Empress is in reverse, it's kind of a to me, that's a warning because I know I can be codependent. Um, so it's a warning, like when I see that come up for Scorpios, because that's what I am. Oh, I better be on my guard on Sunday to make sure I don't step into somebody else's territory. It's very easy for me to do. So that's, it's kind of a heads up on that. And it's also a heads up too that, okay, maybe um, I need to be aware of who's coming in and trying to make decisions for me or trying to bully me into doing things um, that maybe I normally wouldn't choose and I have issues with that too so either way it's a heads up <laughs> heads up to keep an eye on your decision making and and whose territory you're making decisions in yours or somebody else's and who's making decisions in your territory is that you or is that somebody else so it's a good heads up card something to look out for and that's the end of your week Libra I do appreciate you guys stopping hanging out with me liking sharing subscribing and commenting and remember those of you who would like to have mentoring sessions go ahead and check out my website for ways to contact me and then let me know and we'll get you slotted in there everyone have a fantastic week I'll see you back here next time peace out